Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Looking at the map, it seems we have a little bit of time left. Just a little. We'll zoom out here. And we can see that uh, our position here, we are almost 180 from Duna. So we need to wait until we're about 45. So we're catching up because we're in a slower, uh, smaller, faster orbit. So we'll catch up eventually. But uh, we got a couple weeks. Uh, yeah, about a third of a year. However long that is in game time. So we can do other things in the meantime. I've been thinking about upgrading the facilities, but... Is it really... I'm not spending the money for anything else, really. So I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade that. That's fully upgraded now, not that it matters. And I'll upgrade this, because it's cheap. And I haven't really been doing any strategies. Um... No, I'd rather upgrade this if I'm going to upgrade anything, but I'll save the money. Let's check out strategies. I mean, is there anything... I guess we could use more science. Uh, unpaid research program takes reputation converts it to science. Outsourcing converts money to science. Which I might do that. And this converts uh, science into money. Which I don't want to do. I don't know how that works, but okay. Uh, I might do this. I think I can only... Oh, no. Hmm. Can I do 60%? That's a really expensive setup cost, but... If it means getting more signs, because I'm not really doing... Let's go 30%. Um, yeah, let's do that. No refunds. You got it. Okay. So now we'll be converting some of our incoming monies into, uh, into science. Okay. Do I still have to do this? Or no, this is a new one. Uh, I'm not doing this again, right? Because th that's one of those missions that never ends. Position a satellite in a specific orbit of Ike. Ouch. Ike, huh? Um, we have 25 years to do it. That might be not a bad option. Especially since we have... Uh, we just upgraded this building, right? So I... Is there a limit to how many contracts we can accept? It doesn't look like there is. Uh, test the atomic rocket motor in his escape directory out of Duna. I only have four years to do that one, though, so we're not going to take that. New orbital station around Minmus. This sounds super easy. Uh, we might even do this this morning. Um, okay, what do we got? Uh, facility supporting at least 12 Kerbals. Ouch. That's not too bad. Uh, 6,000 units of liquid fuel on the station. I actually wanted to build a Minmus refueling station with a, 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 a miner on the surface and everything. So that might be part of this. Docking port and can generate power. Antenna. Uh, okay, I think I can do this one, actually. 3,000, uh, 6,000 units of fuel. Let's take this. In an adjusted orbit of Kerbin. What does that mean? Being command of untitled spacecraft. Oh, oh wow. This is one of my existing ships. They're asking me to reposition one of my existing ships. Um... That craft almost certainly has no fuel on it, whichever one it is. I'm not going to accept or decline that. New orbital station around Moon. This one sounds easier, but I'm not going to bother with it. All right, let's build a, a station around Minmus. The thunk. Does it need to be two separate launches? 
I don't know. I'll start with our cheap probe, like always, because that's all we need. Let's see, uh, we'll put some solar panels on it right away. And an antenna, because I always forget the antenna. And we'll do that, which will probably be good enough. Uh, let's do four. Just to make sure it always has some power, right? Uh, sign for the antenna. Science. I only need one antenna, though. And Duke. Good, good. Uh, what else can we stick on here? How about a battery? Just put a battery on top, just in case. Uh, here it is. And that antenna is now buried in the battery. That's okay. That's okay. So, am I, what am I going to build first? Um, let's build... Uh, fuel tanks. I don't have the big docking ports yet, do I? I do not. This is a Convertotron. This is a Convertotron. Okay, they're both the same function, but one's a little bit bigger than the other. A uh, smaller version of the mobile processing plant. Da -da 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 Does it tell me... Okay. It does give me some idea of efficiencies, but this is the bigger of the two. Wow, that thing's huge. Okay. Uh, that's okay. What I'm going to do is make a lander craft. I don't know. Should the lander craft also uh, be the delivery craft? Because the idea is to make the fuel on the surface, then go back up into Minmus orbit and deliver that fuel with a clampatron, right? Uh, in which case, I might want to rethink this. Hmm. There are decisions that need to be made. Um, I won't even bother with a uh, decoupler. Uh, what are the... How do these things look? If I put four of these on here, I can't... Oh, there's no radial attachment on that. Okay. Interesting. We can get. Uh, I don't think we can get six of these without them. Yeah, they're, they're going to interfere with each other. That might be okay too. But I think four is a saner value anyway. What I want to do is kind of get them as high up as I can. Which I guess that's about as high up as I. Oh, that's almost even. That's not too bad. Okay, and now we need the uh, the drilling apparatus. Drilling apparatus? Drilling? Drilling? Anybody? Oh, you know what I can do? Let's take this battery off. And we'll move this antenna. Get... There we go. Uh, I can't put anything there, but I can stick stuff on the side here like this. So I'll do that. Okay. And what else do I need? Uh, I need storage tanks for the ore, too. Dang. I cannot mount anything to that. That's a shame. Hmm. You know, I thermal. I'm going because I'm going to need this to remove heat. Uh, what do they look like extended? Hello. Hmm. Yes. Yes. I'm definitely going to need those. Um, okay, we're done there. Uh, where are these storage tanks? Eh, I'd rather use the clampatron because then I won't have to... Uh, what do you call it? This is going to force me to put four of them on here, though. Unless I just do one... And then I copy one to the other side, and that will give me uh, balance, which is good. The idea is to use the clampatrons to latch on to the other ships so I can transfer the fuel. That way I don't need to put um, docking clamps, uh, docking ports rather. Um, Drillomatic mining extractor. Here we go. 
No, I only want two. Mostly because I can't afford uh, power-wise. i got to figure out what I'm doing for power. Okay, that extends really slow. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. we got plenty of uh, height to work with. It's not too bad. And you, up you go. And now we're going to need solar panels. Lots and lots of solar panels. Um, we're going to be on Minmus. So I think we can get away with... Oh, we don't have the big ones yet. Hmm, okay, let's, let's save this. Minimus Minor Mark II, save. No, I didn't want to... Derp. Recover vessel, thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. Um, right. Where do we get those huge solar panels from? Uh, is it here? Yeah, okay. Uh, it's going to cost me 300 signs, but I can do that, and I'll get fuel cells. Okay, I think that was worth it. Um, ooh, those are nice for deep space stuff, so I kind of maybe want to work towards that. Don't need the batteries. I'm still kind of saving up for the last of this. So, hopefully I'll be able to recover that science soon-ish. We'll go back here. Pick up where we left off. Now we have the gigantic solar panels. Which make me happy. Uh, let's see. They would be under utility. Where are they? There's a large thermal control system, but that's not what I want. Where are my solar panels? Hello? Am I looking right past them? I am. Hmm. This is going to get kind of awkward. Uh, but that's okay. I think that'll still be okay. We got these little panels here, which I'm actually, I think I'm going to tilt these up. Uh, let's see, here we go. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Now I need uh, storage tanks. Would they be under fuel tanks? Does, is this where the ore tanks are? It is. Large holding tank. This is That's a large, oh, radial holding tank. I only have the small holding tanks? Can I cheat these in here somewhere? Is that going to interfere too much with that guy? Maybe. Maybe. Are these also... Oh. That's kind of awkward, but I could also do that. I can fit four of them on like that. Uh, not exactly like that. I'm thinking... Like, I could put one here. Right? And then I can put one here like this. Let's try to get this lined up straight. I can do the same on this side. Like that. Is that kind of lined up? That's not bad. Not bad. I can move these back a little bit more, maybe. So they're not quite embedded in each other. Okay. That'll give me um, some ore storage, which isn't bad. Uh, we should probably stick some batteries on here. Uh, batteries, batteries. We'll go with the, the nice big batteries. And these I will do the symmetry with. Do, do, do. Power up. Is that? Yeah, okay. Make sure that's nice and uh, even. 
That's pretty good. So that should be plenty of electrical storage. And I left this open for a reason. Why did I do that? Did I want to put a docking port there? I think I did. But that's no longer necessary, so I'm, I'm okay. All right, now, uh, was it? There we go. Whoop. Body Minmus. I need to get this guy onto and off of the surface of Minmus. Let's add some landing legs. Landing legs. I'll uh, get the nice big landing legs out. There we go, and I'll copy that. And we'll put another set on like this. Those even? They are not even. It's going to cause us problems. I'll end it up with the. Get. There we go. Good enough. Uh, they. No. Let's get this one more click out. Like so. And that should be nice and lined up. Like that. Okay. Cool. So that'll be the landing, and now I need to get this guy up, up and out. Uh, what does the poodle do for us? Engines. The poodle is a fun engine. Wow, really? Um, even if these are full? Oh, yeah. Wow. Alrighty, then. I'm tempted to try and add more... Uh, Let's add more of this. Uh, turn off symmetry. I can tuck another few. Uh, well, these are ore tanks, I suppose, not fuel tanks. Uh, I can tuck another one of these guys in here. That's only clipping a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. And then we'll spin around to this side and we'll tuck another one in here. Like so. More ore, more better. And that's still. That's not going to have any problem. Getting off the surface, even if those ore tanks are full, which they shouldn't be. So this guy will land on the surface, make ore, and then relaunch and attach to a ship. So let's save that. Uh, I gotta get this thing to Minmus, which is a whole other hullabaloo. Uh, let's switch this. Whoop. Uh, body Minmus, body Kerbin. Thank you very much. And apparently I have a uh, key binding conflict. Conflict. Whatever. Alright, now I gotta get this guy. And I need to support how many Kerbals? Uh, Twelve Kerbals. Oh boy. Utilities. Here's the Mark 1 crew cabin. That holds how many? Two. Uh, okay, here's these can hold four. Storage container. Uh, that's four, so I need three of these guys. Ugh. You know what? Let's do this. Because uh, I need at least 6,000 units of fuel when I'm done. On board. So... That's a lot of fuel. That is a lot of fuel. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. Let's try this. Um, uno, dos, tres. Okay. And then we'll go with uh, this large... Hello? Oh, that's engine, not tanks. That's why. Uh, this one here... Now... 6,000 units of liquid fuel in your station. This will hold 2,800, so I need at least three of these tanks. Which we can do. We'll go with three-way symmetry, and I'll plop this guy down just like that. And that leaves the hatches available, which is nice. Okay, okay. Now, I don't know, do I want these to be full? I might want them to be full. Uh, engines, no, we'll go back to fuel tanks, and I'll stick another fuel tank in here, just for, this is a spacer, really. 
I can get it in there. There we go. That's good. Um, what's next? I, I kind of feel I need to put some, some strutties in here. Just to kind of glue all this together. I don't know if it's necessary, but I, I feel I need to. Try to get this uh, even here. There we go. Okay. Um... Should we put another poodle on here? I think a poodle will be okay. 2,000 meters per second delta V is not a lot. But then I can always... I can always empty these out. What happens if I empty these? Does that empty all of them? It does. Um, but well, it takes all the fuel out, so that doesn't really help me much at all. Uh, okay. Let's put those back in full. That'll be my transfer stage. I want to make sure this has its own antennae. Uh, undersigned. I'll put an antenna just on here, I guess. And we'll stick a couple solar panels on it just for the hell. Uh, oh, I'm also going to need some kind of computer. I need a probe, is what I'm trying to say. Probe. No, probe. Thank you. That'll do. I just need one. And some solar panels. Uh, we'll cheap out. I'll do this. What the hell did it? Removed it. Derp. And derp. That way I should always have a solar panel facing the sun. Okay. That's all I really need. How much does this probe body weigh? Uh, mass is 0.1 ton. Is there a battery that can balance that out? 0.05 ton, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. Uh, I guess two of these will be 0.1 ton. Uh, Alright, that bounces out the probe. Meh. Uh, maybe I should do a reactor control system instead. Um, command and control. Yeah, these are 0.1 ton. Let's use one of these in place of these two batteries. There we go. That still balances 0.1 ton for all three stacks. Not a problem. I have a little bit of extra wiggle. He's good. He's good. Uh, let's continue this mayhem. Um, I don't know. This guy needs to go away. Now I need to get this to Minmus, and it's going to be not an easy task. Let's load her up with fuel. And we'll put our favorite engine at the bottom, as always. Engine. Thrust to weight ratio actually isn't too bad, all things considered. Uh, it's a big thing we got sitting on top there. Uh, it's got tons of fuel, too. Maybe I want to capitalize on that. I don't mind making the own, my own fuel, but... Structural pylon, huh? Ooh, these eject. How big are they? They're kind of backwards, too, aren't they? I guess they're made to go sweep forward because it's supposed to be under a wing. Uh, they don't seem to stick out that far, though. We'll go with these. I'm, I'm more used to these. And that's only a 0.6 thrust to weight ratio, so we need more thrust. More thrust is more better. Let's get a whole bunch of these guys on here. Uh, oh, um, fins. Always fins. Can I move these down? Oh, no. Mm. No. No. Can I 
I just... There we go. I do kind of want everything to be almost even at the bottom. There we go. Uh, so I just definitely want that in there like that. Uh, thrust to weight ratio is 2. Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, do not have a lot of delta V, though. So that's when we add more fuel. Um, fuel, 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 fuel. Dunk. 2,000 meters per second delta V. Okay, I think we can improve on this. Uh, I have to remember that core stage only has 0.6 thrust to weight ratio, though. Hmm. Let's see, that'll empty out. I'll have one, basically the fuel left in here when that's done. Uh, let's give it a try at least. We'll do that. This is kind of a hairy situation here, but... That's only 2,000 meters a second. I cannot get this into orbit as it is. Which is scary. Hmm. I could... Let's do this. Uh, fuel... Fuel lines. Let's use this fuel. Like that. Okay. Hmm. I think that'll help. Oh, boy. This is this is one of the scariest things I ever built, you know that? I've built some pretty hairy stuff. There we go. Oh man, that's that's magnificent. Um, let's make sure the staging is right. You don't want to stick some solid rocket boosters on this anyway. Two thousand meters per second will barely get us up out of the atmosphere, and then I have this whole upper stage I need to get going. Let's what's what's this again? Maybe if I put a bigger engine on this, because I have plenty of delta V total. But if I put a larger engine on here, what does that get me? Not much. How about this? Ah. Uh. Oops. You gotta redo these fuel lines. Although this... No! Oh, thank you, undo feature. Let's redo this... Ah, damn it. I don't know if these act as struts or not, but I'm assuming they do. So I want to make sure they're even so it doesn't, like, cause a torque. Alright, so we'll detach it here. What can I do? This is a liquid fuel engine. That will almost work. And you know what? Instead of doing this... Ah, damn it. I realized that was going to happen just as I clicked. Alright, that... There we go. Uh, let's use this fuel for this, because if I'm going to use it for anything, I'll ditch the extra weight of the uh, the lower stage. Now how are we looking? Okay. I think I can work with 0.82. Um, no. No, we need more. We need more. Let's copy this whole mess. Getting crazy. 
Oh, I love how those struts work. That's beautiful. Uh, we will attach still in here. Very nice. And then we will do the fuel lines like this. Basically using these outer ones as uh, boosters. That helps. That does help. Alright, save it. So that is everything, all our eggs in one basket. Let's go. Do everything ready to launch. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Keep it steady. Keep, 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 keep. Oh, no. Okay. All right, this thing is going to crash, so let's get the hell away from the space center. Oh man, I really hope, okay, we're clear. I can deal with the loss of money for the craft and there are no Kerbals on board, so that's okay. Bonk. Oh, the probe has survived. Well survived. An engine has survived. Clampatron has survived. Well, these of course are going to survive. And Jebediah is uh, laughing hysterically. Okay. Oh. Oh well. Um, recover vessel.